Thank you, Corrine. If the special counsel says President Biden has got significant limitations on his memory, then who is helping him run the country? The President of the United States runs the country. The Commander-in-Chief runs the country. How can he be trusted with the nuclear codes if... I, I get that you're saying that uh, nobody in the building would say that he's got an issue with his memory. But just a little part of what we get to see, he's made mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake on camera this week. So I want to be very clear here. Um, the reality is that report, that part of the report, does not live in reality. It just doesn't. So the special counsel it is, is lying it, it about is, the president's it is, memory. It is. It was gratuitous. You heard from my. You heard from Ian Sam's, my colleague. Uh, it is unacceptable, and it does not live in reality. That is just the facts. And and look, it is a close case. That is what the special counsel said. And. What matters is here is that the president in the last three years has delivered on the economy, has delivered on health care, has turned this country around after the last president left us with an economy that was in a tailspin. That's what we were dealing with. That's what we were dealing with. If you think about the world leaders, world leaders and issues that have been going on in this country for the past two, three years, not in this country, in the world, right? When you think about Ukraine, the president was able to bring together NATO, NATO allies. They have been the strongest than they've ever been and make sure that we are providing what Ukraine, the brave people of Ukraine need as they're fighting aggression, uh, Putin's aggression. And that is what this president has, has been able to do. His, his experience as former senator, as former vice president, and now president, has gotten us to a place where we've been able to turn things around in a way that we meet the needs of the American people, whether it's domestic issues or national security issues. And that is uh, what matters. That part of the report does not live in reality. Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.